One of the most popular REITs among individual investors is Medical Properties Trust, and this is largely because it offers a 12% dividend yield, which is one of the highest yields in the entire REIT sector. I myself own a position in the REIT and I'm bullish, but I actually think that one of its close peers offers even better risk to reward in today's market. Hey, this is Yossi. I run a small investment firm that specializes in REIT investing. In today's video, I want to talk to you about Global Medical REIT, which is one of my favorite REIT investment opportunities in today's market. But before I get into it, could you please do me a favor and like this video? It really helped me a lot to grow this channel. And then secondly, I also want to remind you that Seeking Alpha has recently reactivated a two-week free trial for my REIT newsletter, High Yield Landlord. I'll put a link somewhere in the description of this video in case you want to access my entire REIT portfolio. So as I said earlier, I'm bullish on medical properties trust but I slightly prefer its healthcare peer global medical REIT and this is because I think that its properties are slightly safer but it's equally as heavily discounted and therefore it also offers just as much upside potential. The main difference between the two REITs is that medical properties trust owns mostly hospitals whereas global medical REIT owns mostly medical office buildings. The market appears to think that both property sectors are equally risky and this explains why both REITs have seen their share prices dropped all almost in lockstep over the past year. The market fears here that the recent surge in labor costs in the healthcare sector is going to cause some of the tenants of these REITs to default on their leases and then cause them to miss some rent payments. But what the market appears to have missed here is that medical office buildings are quite a bit safer than hospitals. A good way to demonstrate this is to compare the rent coverage ratios of both REITs. The rent coverage is a ratio that measures the property level profitability of a tenant relative to the rent that it needs to pay to the landlord. Landlord. Therefore, if we take the example here of Global Medical REIT, which has a rent coverage ratio of five times nearly, it would mean that its tenants are able to cover the rent with nearly five times as much profits. This means that it enjoys significant margin of safety in case its tenants experience some difficulties. Medical Properties Trust also enjoys a good rent coverage, but it's materially lower at around two and a half times, which is more reflective of the typical rent coverage ratios for hospitals. Therefore, its leases are not quite as safe in case some of its tenants where to experience difficulties, they saw their margins drop down, it will be much likelier to face some least delinquencies. And then beyond the rent coverage, the tenants of hospitals are typically quite a bit riskier than those of medical office buildings. If you look at the top tenants of medical properties trust, these are mainly private equity backed companies that are very heavily leveraged. Its biggest tenants toward is a good example of that and many short sellers have been very vocal about their expectation that Steward could face bankruptcy down the line. This doesn't mean that the tenants of medical office buildings are perfectly immune to tenant issues, but typically they are a bit more conservative with their finances, and this is also true for global medical REIT. Therefore, I think that a REIT that owns medical office buildings should trade at a premium valuation when compared to a REIT that owns hospitals. However, because the market appears to have missed this difference in risk profiles, it has priced both REITs at heavily discounted valuations, and the difference really isn't material. I'll put a table somewhere on the screen to compare both valuations. So put simply, by buying shares of global medical REIT, you're able to get a dividend yield that's nearly as high. You're also able to get a valuation that's nearly as low. And I think that the upside potential is just as significant despite it being a safer investment. At High Yield Landlord, we own both REITs as part of our core portfolio, but our position global medical REIT is quite a bit larger. Now, if you want to learn more about what else we're buying for our portfolio at the moment, feel free to join my REIT newsletter for a two-week free trial. Again, I'll put a link somewhere in the description of this video. And otherwise, if you could like this video, that would really help me a lot to grow this channel. Thank you very much and see you at my next one.